Hey there, this is for six slash two, so the second of June. Um, this is our test week, so today is more about um we have ring pump session, ring pumping stability session, and then we have a um every two minute interval. I want to talk about this ring pump session for a second here, um, mainly scaling. So we have ring dips, ring bicep curls, and ring reverse flies. Let's talk about those ring reverse flies. If you see someone that has the inability to keep that um, retraction of the shoulders while doing those flies, and you see they're kind of like this, or they're like reaching out, and they just can't get it, um, even when they're standing tall, because the taller you stand, the easier it is, have them just do um, 10 uh, straight arm banded pull aparts, all right, and with a pause at the at the extended position, showing that they can keep that there. Um, supinated ring bicep curls, we're in that underhand grip, and I want them to keep their elbows up. It shouldn't be looking like this when they pull, it's here, here, it's almost like bringing the forehead. And then the ring dips, um, scaling up, if they can do 10 super easy, I want to make them weighted, not tempo. All right, we want to build some strength here while we do this also, because three rounds is 30 of them. And when it comes to 30 reps for less, it's, it's not muscular endurance and it's muscular strength. And that's what I want for this week. Um, now, if it's someone that they can do ring dips, maybe one or two, but you can see that the stability is a huge issue and it's not so much a, like really a strength, it's stability, have them do ring support, top of ring support holds, all right? We wanna work on that stability factor there and the strength there, in good position there with their hands not turned in, but hands turned out. Um, there's some great articles that CrossFit has about that, so check it out. Um, that's how I wanna go about that part. And every two minutes each for time for 16 minutes. Um, so it's four times each, you're alternating, so interval one, interval two, then interval one, and then interval two. 100 foot um, double cuttable farmer carry walk, and then 200, so it's 175 meter row. We are looking for this first interval, might take about a minute 15 to 30 seconds. I mean, to a minute 15 to a minute 30, and that's it. Pretty high effort, and that's okay. Their transitions need to be quick, all right? That kettlebell farmer carry weight should not be a weight where they need to drop it at 50 feet. It is prescribed 70 to 53, but they should not need to drop it. And then we have the 200 meter run, which we're looking for a minute or less. All right. This is going at 80, 85% effort. Um, warm ups, there's nothing really new there. Um, just to get the core temperature joints going and then. Um, the, the last three rounder, so 50 second ring support hold that is at the top, that is at the top. Um, it's a good time to see um, and kind of predict where people are going to be during that ring pump session. If you see that people just aren't able to keep that ring support hold for 15 seconds, but they can do five seconds, have them do that during the pump session. We don't want to stray away from trying to get that stability with the rings. See you guys later.